Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so I've actually been watching some movies lately, and today, or right now, I just finished watching The Baby for the first time ever. I've never even seen a preview for it, but this is on a lot of lists that I have looked up online for, you know, the most disturbing, um films or movies lists and stuff like that and the baby pops up on quite a lot of them so I've had this movie for I don't know like probably over a year now I don't think I've ever showed it in any haul videos or anything it was during my year off whatever um but anyways I just watched this and um in my opinion um, again, I've never seen a preview. Um, this is nothing like what I was expecting, which kind of usually does happen, especially if you haven't even checked out a preview or anything. But um, in my opinion, this is, there's like two scenes that are a little bit, you know, like, wow, okay. But other than that, this is not that shocking of a movie. This is not really a disturbing movie, in my opinion. Um, everybody, of course, has their right to their own opinion, to what disturbs them on a personal level, you know, and everything like that. I'm just giving, you know, my personal opinion of this movie. Um, but I honestly did actually like this movie a lot. Um, it was, like I said, completely different because this right here, maybe actually, let me pull it out for the original poster. This right here is the original poster for the baby. So, I mean, that gives kind of fetish um, vibes of babies and stuff like that in the role-playing field and stuff. But that is not what is going on here to an extent. Um, so, also, I'm going to be spoiling the movie so pretty much um it's not where he's you know fetishizing you know the baby mama whatever sex wise stuff whatever he's actually um mentally challenged and is actually a man who is a baby he's literally a baby throughout the whole movie um kind of a little bit unclear because there are certain scenes that do suggest that he may be forced to be a baby because of his mom and his sisters because there is some abuse and stuff that goes on but I do believe truly that he is mentally handicapped and is does not have like true mental capacity to be a man basically because he's like I watched some of the special features, and the guy was, like, 28 when he made this, the main actor guy. Um, so, he looks to be about, you know, somewhere between 20 and 30 in the film. So, but he is literally an infant. He's walking. He's crawling. He never stands up, um, except for two attempts that the social worker tries to get him. Okay, so basically, the movie starts out with a social worker. She gets assigned to Baby's case. That's literally the name of him, to his Baby. Um, gets assigned to his case. It goes to the house to, you know, check on him and stuff like that. Because even though he's, you know, like in his 20s to 30s in the movie, you know, because of his mental um, condition, he's a part of the state ward or however that works with older people, whatever. Um, anyway, she's assigned to the case, so it's her first time meeting him and the family and stuff like that. So she goes to meet him and everything, and I guess it was already known to her. I didn't know if that was known or if it was going to be a shock to her that, you know, as a full-grown man being an infant because he's sleeping in a, you know, crib, but built for a man, just like it shows in this picture right here. And, um... So it goes on like that, and um, the social worker starts to get a little bit attached to Baby, and so she starts visiting him more and stuff like that, and gets to know, of course, the mom, and he has two sisters, too. They all live together in the same house, 
And the sisters are creepy, especially the the older one. I cannot remember their names, of course, right now. But um, not the bleach blonde one, but the other one. If you've seen the movie or if you're going to watch it, you'll know the, which one I'm talking about. Something about her just gave me the creeps right away. So, but anyways, um, but the mom and the sisters are very protective. So whenever the social worker is over and starts asking questions about, like, has he been evaluated um, to see, like, what his mental capacity could be. And they said no, not since he was an actual baby and stuff like that. And then tries, like, throwing a ball back and forth and having him bring it back to her type things. Um, and he does it. So she's seen that he can comprehend things and stuff like that. And everything, uh, the family doesn't like it. So, and when she's doing that and she's trying to convince the mom to get him into, like, a special, special ed, uh, type clinic, school type thing, um, you know, she refuses, of course, but she's trying to also keep it peaceful with the social worker and says, like, she'll think about it or whatever. When she leaves, he actually says, Mama. That's literally the only word that is ever spoken by him in the movie. So you can see that his mom is domineering him to a certain extent. Like I said, I don't know if it could be throughout his whole life that she has just... Um what do you call it, like, manipulated him and forced him and punished him and made him and brainwashed him and everything to believe that he is an actual infant and the sisters help, too. Because after that, once they go back into the house, the sisters are using, I believe it's like a, a cow prod, I think is what it's called, that thing that sends, that farmers use that, like, electrocute um, the cows with a stick thing. Anyways, um, that they're using that on him, saying, you don't talk to strangers, or you don't talk to people, or you, and you don't try to stand up, because she also, you know, helped try to get him to stand up, and he was actually trying to do it, and almost did it, and stuff like that. Anyways, so, uh, like I said, I think there probably is some developmental issues, some mental issues, and stuff like that, but also, I think it has a lot to do with the environment and the way his mom raised him and trying to keep him actually as a baby so he would never leave her type thing. And the two shocking incidents is, you know, he's a baby, right? So he's, he's being fed from a bottle, milk from a bottle. So his mom and his two sisters go out for the evening and he's there with a babysitter and when the babysitter hears him crying, she goes up, and um, he's trying to get out of the crib, so she lets him out, and he, like, bumps his head or whatever, and then he's, you know, starts crying, and she's like, let me go get you a bottle, let me go get you a bottle, and then he grabs at her, her tits, basically, you know, like, to breastfeed, like a baby would do. And at first she tries to stop him, but then she just lets him do it. And it's, that was a shock, I will say. So, like I said, there's only two parts in here that will, in my opinion, what happened with me was like, whoa. Like, that part is kind of like the fetishization of what I thought this whole movie was going to be about. But it was only that scene. And then there was another scene that, was his sister, the older sister, the creepy one, who came into his room in basically lingerie, and all you see her do is drop it. You see it drop to her feet. You don't see her naked or anything like that. And then just get into the crib. And then it just cuts from there. So I don't know. Officially, they could have just been sleeping, but why would she be wearing lingerie and it drop type things? So I think there's some... Um, incest type of or she's in love with him I don't really know what the fuck is going on but there's that too so anyways um so those are the two of those kinds of scenes that like I said I thought was going to be the entire movie was going to be like that but now um 
so she uh the social worker um like i said tries to get the mom and the family to let him get into um the school and stuff but you can kind of also see <sighs> also charlotte is in heat right now so you're gonna hear her all over the place um but shit i forgot where i was at uh, with a social worker, you start to notice some weird things. Like, she is also, like, unhealthily kind of becoming obsessed and and protective and just weirdly interested in baby. Um, kind of like how the family is, but in a different way somehow. Um, I don't know. It's hard to explain that part, but you can tell something's fishy going on with a social worker, too. Um... So, they say, uh, the family says no to go into that school, and then they also call the social worker's, you know, boss and make a complaint to get her off of their case, and, um, then they have a private call between each other and, um, say, you know, because she goes back to the family's house and says, you know, you may have gotten me taken off of this case, but, you know, I could still go to the law basically and tell them everything that i've seen you know because she knows that they're doing something she doesn't know exactly what but somehow they're keeping him suppressed from growing up and essentially and um i can present this to the law and take you to court and stuff like that so later on that day the mom calls the social worker why can i just watch this movie and i can't remember anybody's fucking name Anyways, <laughs> so the social worker and the mom talk and they like make amends because there is something going on fishy, like I said, between both sides. Like there is a reason why the social worker still wants to be involved with baby and the family wants, um, doesn't want the law called, but there's also, you could tell something else that they're planning um, behind the scenes, too, on why they want her to, you know, still, whatever. So, they, the family invites her over the next day for baby's birthday, and they go over, or the social worker goes over the next day, um, it's a weird-ass birthday party with, uh, drinking and smoking, and this was done in 73 is when this was released, so I, I don't know if, if it's just, how the 70s was or just how this family is I don't fucking know but anyways um so they are keeping her there as long as possible and trying to distract her and everything and she's playing darts with the younger sister the bleach blonde one um and they finally are able to spike her drink and when she starts to show wooziness they take her to the basement and tie her up because they're going to kill her, basically, or or some way to get rid of her. Pretty much kill her is what I'm suspecting. And um, during all that, Baby, you know, sees the whole thing going on. And he goes down there, opens up the door, and all she is is, you know, her hands and feet. Her hands are tied behind her back and her feet are tied and she has a gag in her mouth. All Baby does is take the gag out of her mouth, and that's it. But then she's able, just by taking the gag out of her mouth, that's when she's able to do everything else herself and untie her hands and her feet. So it's like, well, couldn't you have done that? What is the gag stopping you from doing? Anyways, I just thought that was a weird part in the movie. Just my observation is it's like he did not do anything else except for take the gag out of your mouth. So, so, this is a long-ass review, but I'm kind of trying to give as much detail as I can, and also just my perspective, I guess. I don't know. Do you, yeah, anyways, I'm bad at reviewing. I'm gonna try to get better, but anyways. Um, so, she escapes, and she gets baby with her. So, this is the first time, I guess, he's ever been outside of the house, away from his family and stuff. And so, you know, since she's been trying to, um, 
say whatever that, you know, he he could be more of a grown-up. He's got, you know, it's just because of his family. His family has been treating him like an infant and making him act like an infant and all this kind of stuff. That he is actually a grown man. So, you would think that when they, or when she gets him out of there and takes him to her house, or you would think that she would actually want to take him to the cops you know, and turn the family in and everything, but that's not what happens. She takes him to her house, and, um, and still kind of is treating him like a baby, except for, you know, you see him wearing a tux, and she takes a photo of him standing up, you know, kind of leaning on the chair, because, of course, he's never stood up before, but leaning on a chair, standing up, takes a photo of it, and sends a letter, I guess, to kind of, like, mock or not mock, but I guess to antagonize the family to come and find her um, because she wants to kill him, basically. It's, it's like a, it, it's an interesting plot twist, but I saw it coming. Like, you could tell that something else was going on with her. Like I said, you could tell throughout the movie as it progressed that there was something else going on on her side, on the social worker side. I just wasn't sure what it was. I was thinking because also at the, I can't remember if they exactly said this or not, but something happened to her husband and they never tell us what. And, um, I guess watching the bonus features, they did say it was a car crash. I don't remember hearing that in the movie, but maybe I just missed that one little small bit of it, but we know you know, that something happened to her husband, because throughout it, you can see her living with her mother-in-law, and, um, she's going through a projector, there you go, projector of old photos of her and her husband, and so something has happened to her husband, we just don't know what it is, and, um, so when this, when she gets baby to her house and stuff like that, I was thinking, all different kinds of things on what could happen. Like, is this going to be some kind of a magic deal where, like, she she tries to, like, Chucky, you know, like, summon, in a way, Chucky. Like, where she summons the soul or whatever of her husband into the body of this guy. Because, in a way, I kind of thought they looked a little bit similar. But, you know, the the guy who plays Baby looks younger, of course, than her husband. But anyways, and then I was thinking... um, what the fuck else was I thinking? I can't <laughs> Figures. I can't remember. That was one of the main ones, though. Oh, I think I was also thinking, um, you know, has she, is this some kind of, like, thing that she's done before? Like, with her first, with her, you know, husband that she's flipping through the projection with, um, and somehow, like, brainwashed the mother-in-law or something? And is this how she got her nice big house and, and like, kind of took over by, or, I don't know, all kinds of crazy theories and shit was, but nothing, not at all what it actually turned out to be, so I will, I will give them credit for that, because that was not what I was expecting, um, so, but she, her and the mother-in-law kill off the family once they try to go and get baby, and the reason why she want a baby is she wants him to stay a baby, not actually to, you know, have him grow up for, like, how she was claiming pretty much throughout the whole movie. Um, because her husband was in a car accident, like I said. And it's not that he died, it's that he had severe brain injury where he's basically had severe brain damage and is basically an infant himself. And so she just wanted a playmate for her husband, and so you see both of them in a room in her house, um, and both wearing diapers, you know, they're both crawling around like babies, they both got, you know, man-sized cribs and everything, and, and that's pretty much it. Do you mind I'm talking? Yeah, no one cares. No, no one cares. Nope. <sighs> Okay, don't mess with that. Thank you so much. Um, I don't think I ever even showed the back of this in case you guys want to see like the special features and stuff. Sorry. Charlotte, go that way. 
Um, so yeah, that's like I said, and um, the reason why she wanted them to come over to her house um, is because they were building a pool in the backyard, so she had the perfect place to put the bodies, which was right underneath the pool that at the very end, they're all swimming in with little floaties for the two babies, basically. So it, it was so unbelievably different than what I thought, not disturbing at all, except for those two little incidents, which were disturbing to be honest, but the movie itself was not disturbing in my opinion. It was, it was, creative and different i haven't seen anything like this um uh, that i can think of um because because uh, in in the movie the younger sister the bleach blonde one i have to say that because so that way you can differentiate when you watch or whatever did say you know like her brother was born backwards and that only made me think of like benjamin buttons but he never gets to you know grow up or anything like that he just stays an infant Literally throughout the entire movie. So, um, but also everybody was really great in the movie too. And, and the guy who plays baby, uh, David Mooney or something like that. Like I said, I just watched a phone interview with him, which is crazy because he's actually a teacher. Like now back in 2011, whenever the phone interview was for this, um, in San Antonio, here in Texas, which I just thought was crazy. Like, you went from being in the baby to being a teacher. I just thought that was kind of funny. Ow, excuse me. But anyways, he fully committed. He was seriously, like, the perfect idea or picture someone could have in their head of a man truly being a baby because you got to be innocent you got to be vulnerable you got to be endearing you know because I mean that's exactly what a baby is but he really did in my opinion a wonderful brilliant job at playing a baby like it wasn't done in a funny or an offensive way because you know but I just again for a disturbing movie not on my list in any way, um, even though it did have those two scenes, but just because it had those two scenes does not really make this a disturbing movie. It just had just a tiny bit of that because, like I said, I thought that's what this whole movie was going to be about, but um, that's just my opinion again. Um, hopefully, I did this movie justice in trying to describe it, and hopefully it made sense. Um, let me know if you guys have seen this movie, what your guys' thoughts are. Do you consider this to be a disturbing movie? Um, or is it just those scenes? Or maybe not even those scenes that you guys consider disturbing. Maybe they're just, like, ill. And that's, that's basically as far as that goes. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If, and, um, I'm trying to do, um, as many as I can. Because I don't have too many right now. Um, cause I have a shitload. I have like a list because I do want to see them all, um, of the disturbing movies. I want to see, you know, push my boundaries as far as I can go. Um, but this is going to be the first one, uh, that I do for now. And yeah, just like I said, let me know what you guys think. If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, if you're even interested in doing or watching any of the disturbing movies or going down that rabbit hole, all that good stuff. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye guys.